Hello, hi. In this video, we'll be showing you how to rewire a three arm rotary clothesline. In this demonstration, we're using our TS3 100 model, which has approximately a 100 foot capacity. Now you can see here we have arms that have one eyelet for each row and we have what we call the feedback arm and that has two eyelets for each row. The best point to start retreading the clothesline is at the midpoint at the third row down in the lower eyelet and you tread up the top three rows. To do that you need to know how much clothesline you need to pull through and you can find that length by measuring across this point here this is where the, the brace arm the short brace arm meets the long arm from hinge to hinge if you stretch the clothesline across there 26 times that will be enough clothesline to wire up the top three rows and a tip while you're doing this is to hold on to the end of the clothesline as you're doing it tie a loose loop knot in the clothesline at that point to mark the spot. Now if you go to the feedback arm, third row down to the lower eyelet, push the line through the eyelet. The eyelet is a tube eyelet. It goes from one side through the arm to the other side so it makes it easy to pull the line through. You wire across one section and pull all the clothesline through until you reach the loop knot. When you have all the line pulled through, wire up the other two sections on row three, going back to the feedback arm and through the top eyelet and pull all the clothesline through. Now go up to row two through the lower eyelet, wire across one section and pull on the clothesline cord through. When you wire the clothesline, the tip is to hold on to the end of the clothesline as you wire around the drawer. This will prevent any knots and tangles developing. Now wire through the other two sections back to the feedback arm through the top eyelet and pull all the clothesline through. Up to the top row through the bottom eyelet, wire across one section and pull all the clothesline through. Wire across the other two sections back to the feedback arm. Through the top eyelet. Now you can tie off the end of the clothesline with a single knot would be enough to hold it. We just need to remove any slack in the top three rows and we can do that from the feedback arm by pulling the line through. It doesn't have to be too tight just so there's a bit of a spring in the clothesline when you flick it and work down through row two pulling all the slack out down to row three pulling all the slack out now you can remove the loop knot if the length of clothesline you have is longer than 100 foot 
you can find out how much clothesline you need to pull through to finish off the remaining rows. You can find that length by measuring across this point here, the point where the brace arm meets the long arm across two sections. Measure across there 17 times and that would be enough clothesline to wear up the remaining rows. Now start back at the feedback arm on row 4 to the top eyelid, wire across one section and pull all the line through. Now wire up the other two sections. Go to the bottom eyelet on row four and pull all the line through. Down to row 5, through the top eyelet, across one section, and pull all the line through. Now wire up the other two sections and pull all the line through. Down to the next row, through the top eyelid, wired across one section. and pull all the line through. Go back and sort out any tangles if necessary. Now where the other two sections going through the bottom eyelet and pull all the line through. Down to the next row, to the top eyelet, wire across one section, and pull all the line through. the other two sections back to the feedback arm through the bottom eyelet and pull all the clothesline through down to the next row wire across one section Now wire up the other two sections. Back to the feedback arm, through the bottom eyelid, and pull all the clothesline cord through, down to the last row, through the top eyelid, through one section, pull all the line through, wire up the last two sections, through the bottom eyelet and pull all the line through. You can tie off the top line like that and tuck it away underneath. Keep it tidy.
Now starting at the top of the dryer we can remove slack in each row by pulling the line tight and turning the dryer as we go feeding the slack down through each individual row back to the feedback arm down the feedback arm to the next row down holding the slack pulling the slack through each row doesn't have to be too tight just so there is a bit of a spring in the clothesline feed it down as you go working your way around the dryer through each individual row the feedback technique will help to eliminate sag keep working your way down through each individual row feeding the slack down at the feedback arm down to the next row working it out through the clothesline all the way down to the lowest point When you have all the slack removed, mark that spot and close down the drawer. Tie a knot at that point in the clothesline. Open out the clothesline again, and you can see we have nice tension in all the lines. Now you can finish off the clothesline either by removing the excess clothesline or you can coil it up and tie it up so it's secure. Thank you for watching.